Time, a Missouri prosecutor is joining forces with an innocence project. She's calling out crooked cops, bribed witnesses, and dirty tricks that led to a Missouri father spending more than half his life in prison. Here's investigative reporter Angie Racono. This is Lamar Johnson. So far, he spent more than 24 years of his life locked up. He's in prison tonight for a murder that his defense team says he did not do. The prosecutor took a look and agrees. Tomorrow they all go to court together, setting off a legal chain of events that could ultimately set Lamar free. I am innocent. I had nothing whatsoever to do with this crime. Lamar Johnson was a young father when he was convicted of a murder he swears he did not do. On October 30th, 1994, a man was shot and killed on a St. Louis porch. A witness told police men in full black ski masks, similar to this one, bolted down a nearby alley. There was no physical evidence, just one witness who said Johnson was the masked killer. Well, I, I, you know, I, I thought that they would realize that I didn't do this. I mean, I told them where I was at night, who I was with, and so I didn't expect that I would get arrested for it, much less charged and sent to, sent to prison for the rest of my life. But Johnson was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. He's been there for more than 20 years. You know, I've lost a lot. Uh, and destroyed whatever you know closeness that I could have developed with my daughters. My mother's old now, and uh, you know I'm not there to really, to really take care of her like I would like. So uh, it's just been hard. It's just been hard. For decades, this case was closed. Johnson kept fighting and finding pieces of what he says is the real truth. Other men confessed to this crime, and one wrote, "I know Lamar Johnson is innocent of that crime." because I was there and Lamar Johnson was not there. Eventually, Lamar Johnson connected with the Midwest Innocence Project. They brought their findings to St. Louis prosecutor Kim Gardner. She also investigated through her new Convictions Integrity Unit, eventually releasing this shocking report, which paints a nasty picture of what happened behind the scenes with St. Louis police detectives. She concluded that police fabricated information, including the motive, Detectives ran a shifty investigation that was improper and contained unconstitutional police tactics. But the most jaw-dropping find was that the only eyewitness was given 4000 in payments through a victim's compensation fund. It was for moving and other expenses. Her report questions both police and prosecutors for trying a man based on eyewitness identification when the assailant's face was fully covered in a mask like this one. She begins her report pointing out a prosecutor should, quote, protect the innocent as well as prosecute the guilty. It is not just that a prosecutor is there to obtain convictions. It's that they're there to find justice in the community. Gardner and her office are being praised by Johnson's legal team for her pursuit of the truth. They point out that Conviction Integrity Unit found paperwork documenting, quote, the compensation. It's now evidence in the petition that calls for a new trial legally. The hope is a judge will vacate the current conviction and then set Johnson free. But it's been 24 long years. I appreciate all of the attention and uh, I'm definitely grateful to um, Mrs. Gardner's office for, um, excuse me, for just taking another look at the case. And, uh, and I hope that people will, um, you know, the right people will just acknowledge what she realizes is that I didn't do this. And uh, I'll be allowed to go home. St. Louis police won't comment on the case because of litigation. It's believed the detectives have retired or moved on to other jobs. We will keep you posted on what happens next in this case. Johnson heads to court tomorrow morning. Angie Ricono, KCTV5 News.